In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, we continue the reading of this book, A Divine Revelation of Hell. Now we are learning many, many about the hell. It is important to know much about what will happen because most of the time when they talk about the hell, for us we can say it is a joke or is an exaggeration. Now, we can know that it is not exaggeration, but it is the reality. Brothers and sisters, before we read this book, we had our behavior, our behaviors, now with the reading of this book we have what we are changing to our behaviors jesus wants us to repent because this is the time may god bless you We continue the reading about those who made this youth to sin uh, against uh, the judgment of God. Sinners repent to sin in a, in, in a natural way. A time after time I called to this soul to repent and to come unto me. I, I would have forgiven them and cleansed them and in my name they could have been set free but they they would not listen to me they wanted the rust the last of the fresh more than the love of living God because I'm holy you must be holy touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you said the Lord I felt very sick as I looked at the source in the lake of fire if only they had turned to me before it was too late sorry if only they had turned to me before it was too late Jesus continued. My brother was shed so that everyone could come to me. I gave my life that even the virest of sinners might live. 
multitude of souls went by in the river of frames over and under the waves of fire they went with no way out of the burning and swimming in the lake of fire i had cries of regret as the body river flowed by us we walked up a tray beside the river in front of us sitting in a hill was a large woman she swayed back and forth both as thought she was drunk written on her with the words mystery babylon i knew i now knew the mother of abominations on the earth came from hell an evil powerful force emanated from her i saw multitude people and tongues beneath her she had seven heads and ten horns in her was found the blood of the prophets the saints and all that was slain up the earth come out from her and be separate said the lord in her time she, ha- she shall be destroyed we walked on path the evil women woman with the horns on her head everything be- everything began to get dra- dark now jesus was the only light we walked until we came to another hillside in the distance i could see hot flame in the air the atmosphere atmosphere became op- oppressive very hot we went around the hill and came to a large door with the throat cut in in it it was set it into the side of the hill a large chain was on the door and the frames large from it the door was also bolted with large rocks I wondered what it all meant. All at once, the dark figure of a man, attired in a long, dark cape, appeared in the in the front of the door. His face looked to be very old and very tired. 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 The skin of his face was pulled tightly against the bones of his skull. He looked to be a thousand years old. Jesus said to me, Behind that doorway is the bottomless pit. My word is true. The frames behind the door reached higher until the door burked from the pressure of the heat. Dear Lord, I said, I will be glad when Satan is cast into the bottomless pit and all these evil things stop for a season. He replied, Come, hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. The end is near, and I am calling sinners to repent and be saved. Look now. We were standing in a a clearing, and I was with the Lord in the Spirit. I looked and beheld an open vision. In the vision I saw a fiery serpent begin to shriek the air with his enormous tail. I watched as this spiritual serpent moved with awesome power. 
then I saw him go back, go back into the right arm of the head or, and wait. I knew that he could not strike the earth until God's word, word would be fulfilled. I saw fire and smoke ascendant out of the earth, and I saw a strange mist as it formed over the earth. I saw parts of darkness appear here and there. Horns began to grow on the head of the fiery serpent. They spread out until they covered the whole earth. Satan gave orders to the fiery serpent. There were evil spirits and devils present. Then I saw the, div the evil fiery serpent serpent come out of this, the right arm of hair and begin to streak the earth with a great force, hurting and destroying many people. Jesus said, this will happen in the end times, come up here higher. Reader, if you are committing any of these sins, I have read, I, I see those sins I've written about, please stop sinning and call upon Jesus to save you. You do not have to go to hell. Call upon the, the Lord while he is near. He will hear you and save you. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Brothers and sisters, this is the conclusion of today. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. I don't wish to anyone to go to hell because hell is so bad. I wish to everyone a very nice weekend and a very time that will be very time of all. repentance of meditation and praying may god bless you in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen.